Hey everybody, what's up? Gary Simon here. So today we are going to be revamping three designs in time-lapse format, just like I did last week. I think a lot of people like that. And today we're gonna to be focusing on user portfolios in a specific section of most portfolios, which is the area where you list out your projects, usually in thumbnail format or in card design. Now I'm not gonna be making massive changes to the layout or anything. I'm just gonna be focusing on simple design fundamentals and how when you can nail those fundamentals, there's a big difference from the before in the after. All right, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and let's get started. But wait one second, you're about to watch me revamp three user interfaces. Now, you may not be a great UI designer, and if this is the case, you should definitely check my UI design bootcamp at the sponsor of this video, scrimba.com. At scrimba, you don't just watch videos. No, 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 you're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn. My course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So visit the very first line in the description of this YouTube video to access my course along with many others for a very low monthly fee. This particular design isn't entirely too bad, but overall it just seems too bland and dark. So let's see what we can do to fix this. So I'm going to keep the overall layout here with the thumbnail in the background to the right with an overlay container on top. It could definitely work this way. Now, one thing I don't like is how they situated the project tags with the GitHub and website icons underneath. They should both be on the same row, but in two columns instead. Another thing are project thumbnails. You need to make sure you have great thumbnails to feature the project. Seldom will a design look good when you just screenshot it and slap it in. Give it perspective, show it in a mock-up, or do something interesting. I feel like this design is too dark, so I'm experimenting with different ways to give it more brightness. I ultimately end up featuring the main content card by giving it a brighter blue color. And here's where I fix those tags and also align the GitHub and website icons to the right in a second column. So here is the original, and then here is the final. For the second entry, we have a lot of issues with color and some issues with white space and alignment. So let's see what we can do to fix this one. So the biggest issue with this particular entry are the black card backgrounds, which really break up the flow of the layout and also the four rows of content inside of the cards and how they're aligned with each other. One problem is the visual hierarchy between the two call to action buttons on the original design and the tags. The two buttons should be distinguished from each other and the tags should be more of an afterthought as they're not actionable or clickable. When you have a lot of horizontal space, you should use it wisely, which is why I decided to right align the tags here with the two call to action buttons aligned to the left. This helps simplify the design as we now have three rows of content as opposed to four occurring one right after the other. 
Also, I decided to experiment here and break out of the box, so to speak, which is something you can do with low contrast backgrounds that have content that sits on top. For the final entry, we have a fair amount of issues here that range from colors, white space, visual hierarchy, and more. Now let's see if I can still capture the same feel while making improvements in all of these areas. So I'm getting started with the cards as they're the focus of this particular page. The thumbnails used here are not that great. So again, we need to make sure we use excellent thumbnails to feature our projects. Next up, listing the tags first in the manner this designer did does not really make sense. Notice how theirs has more contrast and larger size than the project description. You don't want that because the description here is more important than the technologies used. So I'm going to place the description first and then more of an afterthought, which is reinforced by less contrast, will be the actual project tags. Notice how just using really good solid white space all around results in such a bigger improvement. This is all fundamental stuff here. Now, one other adjustment I do make, I feel like there needs to be a little bit more contrast between the cards in the background, so I darken it just a few shades lighter. And also, I decide to place the actual tags underneath. And really, the difference is negligible. You could have left them, I could have left them inside either way. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. You learned something. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. Give a like and also a subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.